machinery solutions combine a handcrafted passion for progress with a pursuit of precision. Taiwan employs advanced techniques to make precision components and machine tools while innovating, integrating and automating within the industrial Internet of Things. Supported by cobots in this complete and future-ready infrastructure. We are pushing the boundaries of smart machinery. Taiwan, the pursuit of excellence. Taiwan's smart machinery solutions combine a handcrafted passion for progress. Online friends, ladies and gentlemen, good morning and good afternoon. Welcome to today's Shaping Tomorrow, Discovering Taiwan Plastic and Rubber Machinery webinar. I am Ariel Chan, the MC of this event. This webinar is jointly presented by TITRA, Taiwan's foremost trade promotion organization, and the Bureau of Foreign Trade, an administrative agency of Taiwan's trade policies and trade relations. Today, I have the privilege to host five leading brands in the plastics and rubber machinery industry in Taiwan, and these strategic and visionary leaders, naming Ellen Pack, Chom Power, Fu Chongxing, Multiplast, and Polistar, will showcase their innovative and sustainable total solutions to the world. But before that, I would like to invite Mr. Bush Xie, Vice Chairman of Plastics and Rubber Machinery Committee. Taiwan Association of Machinery Industry, Tammy, to give us some opening remarks. Please welcome Mr. Bush Xie. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning and afternoon. I am Bush Xie. I am glad to be here to represent Taiwan Association of Machinery Industry, Tammy, to talk about Taiwan's plastic rubber machinery industry. As we know that, Taiwan is one of the world's top six plastic and rubber machinery exporters. Taiwanese machinery industry is recognized for its advanced technology and top quality after sales service. In addition, Taiwan's plastic rubber machinery industry has a strong global reputation of being innovative and bringing tremendous values to our global clients. Our machinery industry plays a key role in Taiwan's overall economic development, and our business partners are often keen to learn from our success. Due to these reasons, we have the chance to add greater value to the global production. In the past few years, Taiwanese machinery industry has begun to adapt smart technology to upgrade the product value chain. With the effort of the government and the industries, we have a good performance. Showing on the latest report, Taiwan's general machinery industry export value reached US dollars 2.9 billion in March this year. Compared to the same period last year, it grows 30.7%. Even through the COVID-19 outbreak has a great impact on all industry. Taiwanese machinery makers still work hard together to provide smart technology to our global partners. Today, three Taiwan excellent award-winning companies and two leading Taiwanese plastic rubber machinery enterprise, Alan Peck, Chun Power, Fu Changxin, Marty Plus, and Polystar will present their latest total solutions. Hope you will get helpful information through this webinar. After the COVID-19 pandemic, many industry will change, but we are confident let Taiwanese plastic rubber machinery industry will drive the economic growth and help the customer to increase their comp competitiveness. I believe that Taiwan's machinery industry will continue to lead the trend. Thank you. Thank you very much. 
Thank you, Mr. Xie, for your wonderful insights. Please have a seat. Ladies and gentlemen, we will now move on to the presentations. During this session, please feel free to submit your questions by using the QA link and QR code on the screen. We'll collect all the questions and invite the speakers to answer them during our Q&A session after all the presentations have been delivered. Today, we are pleased to have Ms. Selena Lin from Ellen Pack share their products. Please welcome Ms. Lin. Hi, good day, everyone. We are Ellen Plastic Industry Cooperation Limited. We located in Kaohsiung, southern part of Taiwan. We are proud to be here for further introduction related to our product, strategy, and the future roadmap. And our most important mission is to be a total solution for drink packaging for now and for the future. During this web, uh, online webinar, we hope to provide some ideas to all our customers with the purpose to save the cost and get more benefits from manual operation to automatic process. We always do our best to be more efficient, not only in manufacturing, but also in packaging design for own logo and own brand of the product. Before my uh, main introduction, I would like to take some time to uh, introduce our company profile first for your deeply understanding. Alan Peck was established in 1980 for the production of the Think film and uh, uh, solving the problems on packaging to all, all our customers. And for the multiple service, we continuously bought the equipment for the printed sleeve by our know-how based on customer unique design. Considering to the efficiency by automatic operation can save more time, more cost than manual operation. Our machinery company was also established for customized machine demand up to now. And why capture is also our up-to-date product like too. And in order to persuade and get more confidence from our customer, especially for our overseas customers, we obtained some certificates like TUV certificate, ISO quality assurance, and also we passed some tests by SGS in case any special requirements for the legislation from our customer side. Here you can find the product category that we can do, like the packing materials in PVC, POF, PET, and so on. Not only for the printed film, but also for the printed sleeve, and the string bag, and then etc. And also we have a diverse machine type, but here I want to emphasize on the sleeving machine. On this page, you can find the horizontal shrink sleeping machine, so-called AHL-1000, which is also awarded by Taiwan Excellence. Uh, suitable container size is from the diameter 8 mm up to 30 mm, such as the lipsticks, eyeliners, or eyebrow pencils, or the instant glues, or the batteries, and some other small tubular products. It has a highly accurate rotary positioning system and can be positioned in 0.5 seconds. Let's see the video for the machine how to work for your better understanding. A module designed structure ensures zero failure rate, easy disassemble and replacement in case any. With stainless steel and high quality aluminum, the body is stable, durable and unstainable. Our product is composed of high quality and high efficiency electric parts, a dovetail PLC panel, and the HMI touch control system. So it's very friendly for the user. Equipped with the automatic detection and the sensing function, so it makes the label fit into the uh, sleeve without uh, any error. And also can meet the need of changing the different type of the products. The capacity can even reach to 250 bottles per minute. To ensure saf safety, all the machine will conduct the rigorous uh, tests before our delivery. Here on our video, we slow down the velocity for your better understanding. Then I want to introduce you another 
another uh, machine is the automatic sleeping sleeping machine. So called ASL 1000 and ASL 2000. This is also customized as a specific demand. Uh, the automatic string sleeping machine is easily integrated with your currently existing packaging line. We can provide a complete system, including the applicator, conveyor system, and also string tuner for heating. A sleeping machine is workable for the battle with the various widths slow or, or, or the large. And the labor position such as the temper evident band, or partial body sleeve, full body sleeve, or full body over the cap sleeve. Let's see the video for further understanding. This machine is different from the horizontal shrinking machine and the feature is easy adjustment, adjustment and the operation by fully automatic model with HMI panel and the very easy setting change with the button and advanced input. High quality stainless steel and the Australian aluminum construction. So it's also stable, durable, and sustainable like our horizontal sleeping machine. All the machine from Allen Pack get robust performance guarantee before we deliver it to our customer. The difference between this uh, sleeping machine and the horizontal sleeping applicator is the sleeping position and also the container shape. For this string, uh, automatic string sleeping machine is for the vertical sleeping. And the machine can save more time and cost for most of our customers. Besides, it can increase the capacity and efficiency during the production. On this video, we also slow down and we use the, uh, pre this is our practical example at our customer side. We use the aluminum can to show you how to sleep. But it can also available for the water bottle, bottle with the difference, but a small one or large one. If you have any unclear things or the questions or specific demand, you are welcome to reach us. We can provide you your a very complete project for you. On this page, you can find our detailed contact information and also the QR code. We are always providing a total solution of the shrink packaging for our customer. So any specific demand or inquiries, welcome to reach us. We really hope to get your inquiry soon. Thank you very much, Ms. Lin, for sharing with us the latest total solution of packaging. Next, we will invite Mr. Tony Wu, Chom Power Sales Support Engineer, to speak. Let us welcome Mr. Wu. Hi, my name is Tony. I'm a sales support engineer from Chom Power. And my topic today is on intelligent high speed linear machine. Company introductions. Chum Power has four business divisions. They are precision tool holder, stretch blow molding machiner machineries, molds, and green packaging. The headquarter is located in Taichung, Taiwan, with 245 employees. Last year, revenue was about 19 million US dollars. Our manufacturing facility is able to produce up to 100 machines per year. We also have in-house machining center for bottle and preform mold. Intelligent high-speed linear machines. The LSSA linear machine is one of our best sellers with output of 20,000 bottles per hour. It is designed specifically for medium-sized bottled water production lines. Now, let's see a video of how it works. First, preform are loaded onto a hopper. Then it goes to an unscrambler where they will be sorted and aligned. Preform are then loaded onto a star wheel and inserted onto mandrels. 
The next phase is heating, where they are all being heated to temperature of 110 Celsius. Robotic arms will then transfer these conditioned preforms into the clamping systems. It is there that the preform are blown into bottles. The finishing bottle will then be discharged from the air conveyor to the downstream process, such as filling line. Any burst bottle that's happening in that process will be removed from the production lines. Chum Power's linear um, intelligent machinery consists of four modules. They are bottle viewer, AVM, run to run, and IPM. And in that four uh, module, only run to run are still currently under uh, process, and the rest of three is fully functional. Now, the first module is bottle viewer which shows the viewer or allow the users to use a portable device to view information such as production floor status and machine information such as the running status, output quantity, and energy consumption. Our user can also use that to see the maintenance costs for their machines. The second module is called AVM which stands for Automatic Virtual Metrology. It works by measuring the wall thickness of the bottle as it comes out of the mold. The system will then use that data and generate a mathematical model to monitor the blowing process. The third module is Run-to-Run, -run, which allows the machines to adjust the processing parameter by itself during production. For example, if the desired wall thickness distribution of a bottle is set by this green line, with run-to-run -run turned off, the value will fluctuate around. However, with this feature being turned on, you will start to see the machines will fine-tune itself and the value will start to approach to the desired set point. The fourth module is called IPM, which stands for Intelligent Preventive Maintenance. It works by placing several knock sensors throughout the machines. The system will then monitor the vibration signatures while the machine is running. If the system detects any potential problems, a warning message will be sent to the user so the parts can be prepared and the machine can be serviced to avoid any unnecessary downtime. Energy saving features. Chump Power used uh, about three methods to lower the CO2 emissions. The first one is to use a lightweight preforms. Currently, the lightest weight that's produced by our machines is a 200 milliliter bottle, weighed at 4.3 grams. And by going from five grams down to 4.3 grams, we have helped our customers to save about 300,000 US dollars in raw material alone and also reduce 14% in heating energy. The second method that we use is in the, in the oven design, where Chum Power used a 38 millimeter pitch heating system instead of 50. By going with narrow pitch heating, it allows more preforms to be heated at one time and achieve about 33% more space efficiency in preform heatings. The third, method, the third method that we use is air recovery systems. To produce a bottle, low pressure and high pressure air are being used in stages. So instead of venting them out completely into the atmosphere, part of it can be redirected to a recovery tank and stored for other usage. The residual air can then be vented to atmosphere. By using this method, we can achieve a recovery rate of up to 15%. Conclusions. We have over 60 models to help you producing bottles for all applications ranging from beverage, pharmaceutical, cosmetic, and generic packaging. We also offer a complete line solutions uh, for bottle productions to palletizing. 
Therefore, be sure to speak with us before making any purchasing decisions. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Wu, for your impressive presentation. And now we're pleased to have Mr. Hank Wu, the sales manager of Fu Changxing. Please welcome Mr. Wu. Hello, everyone. My name is Hank Wu from Fu Changxing Machinery Manufacturer Company. Let me introduce FCS for you first. Company profile. FCS was founded in 1974 with four production bases, one in Taiwan, two in China, and one in India. We would like to share one interesting data. Every injection molding machines require four tie bars to create clamping force. The overall length of tie bars being used for assembling injection molding machine is equivalent to the total height of 1,500 Taipei 101 or 200 Taiwan highest mountain, mountain jet. Global network, a red point stands for the branch office worldwide. We totally have 30 offices. Most of them are in Asia. In addition, we have 21 agents on earth from Argentina to USA, from Korea to Egypt. Let me present new generation molding system FA series for you. Before launching FA series, we actually did internal competitions on the color pattern. We finally decided to use the gray frame with blue cover and the navy blue safety gate. Let me show you one short video of our FA series. This was the showcase in last Taipei Plus. We were making the stackable container with our weight control system, which will be able to record the weight of every cycles to make sure the weight consistency. FA highlights. First of all, we increase the servo motor output. Look at 350. Look at 350 ton machines. We increase from 57 kilowatts to 72 kilowatts. Moreover, we also comply with the high energy efficient standard to eject one kilogram plastic. The machine must come soon less than 0.4 kilowatts per hour. Next, we increase the tie bar space, stiffness, clamping movement. Size of the platen increased by 10.7% and the strength of the platen design reinforced by 30%. This will allow the customer to run the machines with more application. IMF 4.0, Intelligent Manufacturer. There are three variables to affect the performance of injection molding machine. The first one, environment. The temperature at noon is totally different with the temperature at night. The second one, material. Different batch of material has slight impact on the melt index. The third one, the wear and the tear of the machines also plays an important role on production consistency. For example, the performance of brand new machine is totally different from the 10 years old machine. To ease the influence of these three variables has become more important task to every injection molder. The standard feature of our FA series are with OPCUA communication protocol, which offers the access to all kinds of auxiliary equipment to upload the data to our control. After collecting all kinds of information from other equipment in our control, we can upload the data to our IMF 4.0 system in order to do the further investigation. Water flow control system. The first practical case is the auto-tuning water flow control system, which is able to view and adjust the temperature for different water manifold on screen. The second practical case is the auto-tuning melt viscosity control system, 
The tricky headache for a model is the short shot and the flash occurs at one multiple cavities mode. Our control is able to monitor the correct viscosity on different cavity, which automatically compensate the short shot and the flash. The, ad the advantage of our IMF 4.0 is visible process, value added data collection, beforehand machine diagnosis. We often hear these questions from our customers. What's my real-time yield rate? The current method to collect this data is to send someone at the site and write down all the data. Our control automatically collect these data and send them to the cloud. Our customer is able to view this data easily at any time and anywhere. Production efficiency. The customer is always wondering how to improve machine efficiency. Should we start from the mode change time? cycle time, oh, blah, blah, blah. Our system will record the duration among different operators so that the manager can determine the SOP to unify the standard mode change time, cycle time to stabilize the efficiency. What's the major quality issue? After sorting out the defective factor, we can look into the root cause to solve this issue. Let me show you the interface of our system. Left chart shows we are monitoring the multiple machines. Each machine shows the real-time status. The right chart gives the detail on what we monitor for each machine. We can get a cycle time, actual, target, production amount. The machine status with the production schedule, it gives the OEE status for this machine and the production status on schedule or not. Manager will be able to know if the machine is performing well. Should they start to arrange machines or steps to work overtime in order to catch up pro production schedule? All data can be viewed on phone remotely and instantly. No matter where you are, we will be able to get the real-time status of your machines and the production line. If you need more information, please scan this QR code or contact me by WhatsApp. We will be happy to assist you at any time. FGS, your injection molding solution provider. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Wu, for your comprehensive presentation. And next, we will invite Mr. David Wu, General Manager of Multiplast. Let's welcome Mr. Wu. Hi, everyone. My name is David Wu. I am general manager of Multiplus Company. Today, I am very happy to have the opportunity to present you with one of our total solutions, fully automatic production sale, a main screwdriver production line. Firstly, I would like to introduce Multiplus. Our company was established in 1988. There are 160 employees in Taiwan and 110 employees in China. The capital is around 13 million US dollars. 90 to 95 percent of our products are exported, with 5 to 10 percent in Taiwan locally. Multiplus is a leading in industry, industrial solutions provider that offers versatile injection molding ranging from vertical injection molding, micro injection molding, multicolor injection molding, full auto insert injection molding, EPDM rubber injection molding, liquid silicone rubber injection molding, explosive BMC injection molding machine. Multiplus deploys our own technology to develop smart injection molding system such as those listed below, like instant automated optical inspection, automated model change system, injection manufacturing execution system, injection compute, computer added manufacturing, model temperature, molding information collection, injection parameters are modified instantly. Now, I would like to show you fully automatic production cell, a main screwdriver production line by video. This is an integrated vertical 
horizontal injection molding machine, robust and auxiliary to achieve fully automatic production. Video. The main feature for this exhibition is the fully automatic production cell. It can connect multiple devices to achieve fully automatic production from manufacturing to packaging. It is an unmanned production system. The finished part is immediately transferred to vertical injection molding machine with slide table for second color molding. Simultaneously, a horizontal injection molding machine fabricates the packing box. Finally, the screwdriver is put into packing box by a robot. As mentioned above, the intelligently unmanned production is carried out in Multiplus. Central Cloud Monitoring System It can collect the operation data and monitor the production. The administrator can manage the whole production molding process with this system. Integrate several machines in a production cell to make screwdrivers fully automatic from manufacturing, inspecting, transporting to packaging. The alignment device can pre-align metal bits in the same orientation. Then the metal bits are taken out by a six-axis robot from the feeder and moved to a vertical injection molding machine with a rotary table for first color molding. As finished first color molding, the semi-finished part is taken out to CCD visual inspection. Simultaneously, the metal bits are put in the cavity for first color molding. Move the semi-finished parts to inspection area for product inspection. Move the qualified part from inspection area to vertical injection molding machine with slide table for second color molding. After that, take out. At the same time, the semi-finished part is moved from inspection area to this station for second color molding. Move the finished product to the finished product standby area. Inspection and position prior to packing. Packing boxes are made by horizontal injection molding machines and transferred to a conveyor. Vision check the molded packing boxes and after that, packing boxes are moved to standby area for inspection and orientation by a conveyor. After that, the finished product is taken out by a robot from standby area and put into a packing box. Finished product packaging. Product completed. Next, please let's watch the sample of our customer product. This is a huge component coming from customer made by our machines. Some of it are multi-component injection molding parts. LED molding on a lead frame, mental injection, insert the injection. Molded motor component. Assorted molded fields. Molded MIM, CIM, mental injection molding, ceramic in injection molding. As you can see, we serve some, some of uh, the biggest global brands in the automotive industry. St. Gobain, Hutchinson, are French company. AGC and uh, Denso are Japan company. Porsche is a German company. Black and Decker and uh, Field Tech are US company. Likewise, we have uh, customers in the electrical industry with uh, amazing reputations in Asia, America. More next, Gillette, Johnson Johnson, 
3M, Panasonic Hitachi, Daikin, Foxconn, Asus. As well as the most famous sports brands around the world, such as Nike, Callaway, Wilson, Mizuno, Bridgestone. As you can see, we are trusted by great companies in many industries. Please join them in choosing multiplas. That is my presentation today. Thank you for your listening. Thank you very much, Mr. Wu, for giving us a splendid speech. Again, if you have any further questions, please use the link on the screen and we will answer them after the presentation. Next, we will invite Mr. David Lowe, CMO of Polystar. Please welcome Mr. Lowe. Hi, everyone. I'm David, the CMO of Polystar. I'm pleased to present Polystar and want you to know more about the core value of Polystar. The topic is recycling makes simple for circular economy to date. Established in 1988, Polystar specialized in designing and making the professional recycling machine and blow-film extrusion light. So far, we have installed 3,200 sets of blow-film light and 1,200 sets of recycling machine at 110 countries worldwide. 95% sales distribution is to overseas market and 5% is for domestic market. As for Milestone, Polystar originates as an OEM manufacturer and turned to be a branding company since 2012. We keep innovative developments and aim to provide a simplified yet powerful solution. We keep winning the Taiwan Innovation Awards at 2014, 2016, and 2018. At 2020, we construct the new equal green factory and look ahead to a bright future. Nowadays, the development of the recycling is more and more important due to the global environmental protection and energy saving concern. To date, I would like to share three kinds of recycling solution and perform what we act at a circular economy. Let's go for the first one, RippleFlex for post-industrial material recycling. It is the circular economy change for post-industrial recycling. The post-industrial and factory themes waste can be fed into Polystar Ripple Flex to get the superior quality of recycled pellets. And these pellets can be mixed with virgin material to reproduce the stable products and save the new material projection cost and reduce the waste. This is the pro process step of the Ripple Flex from the material feeding, color compacting, degasing, filtration, and peptizing. A breakable processing material is includes the PE, PP, BOPP, CPP, bin rolls, back scraps, stretch, shrink, and bubble film and sheets. The waste are fed directly into the color compactor for proper cutting and densifying. Then go to the next extrusion and pelletizing process. We can increase more 20% outputs and lower 10% power consumption by this continuous system. To achieve the smart production criteria, we develop the intelligent pelletizing technology to enhance the efficiency of the production. Integrate with the smart inverter module and advanced air cylinder pneumatic system, enable to synchronize the pelletizing speed via the die head pressure variation automatically. The second one, Ripple Plus, is mainly for multi-layer themes 
heavy print, and post-consumer material recycling. This is the circular economy chains for multi-layer film recycling. The food packaging lamination film can be also converted to the good quality pellets and reused back to the injection molding production line. That is the process step of the Repo Plus. As you can see, with one more degasing, filtration, and the second extrusion process, it can stabilize the melting material production. The material, a procapable processing material is includes the laminate and heavy print film on rolls, food packaging films, and post-consumer wash flakes. Ripple Plus is utilized with the specific filter repositioning design and triple degasing technology to optimize the melting pressure generated from the heavy print in or humid moisture. Here, I would like to show how Ripple Plus works. Please see the operation video from our Russian customer. So now, let's talk about the filtration system. When the post-consumer waste is contained with lots of paper label, dirty grease, dust, the filtration efficiency becomes a big challenge to us. Polystar is capable of integrating the advanced automatic mill filter to perform the best filtration quality. It can extend at least five times service life of the filter mesh compared to the conventional filtration solution. That is one of the successful case study from our Swedish customer. They processed the post-consumer grade ABS and PS regrind efficiently by integrating the automatic filter and intelligent PLC control system. The high level of automation is beneficial to their productivity. The third solution I would like to talk about is regarding the Repro One. It's mainly for woven socks, raffia tapes, and rigid lumps recycling. The solid structure, such as PP jumbo bag, can be directly shredded by the integrate shredder and convert to the high quality pellets for circular lumps and tap estrogen reproduction. It is widely applied at India, Middle East, and Africa market. And this is the process shape of Repo One, through direct feeding, direct shredding, filtration, degasing, and watering pelletizing. On average, the power consumption of one shape Repo One is only about 0.28 to 0.35 kilowatt per kg. Polystar integrate the shredder into the recycling line and can synchronize the feeding, shredding, and extruding speed to optimize the production. With the compact design and powerful system integration, it can save the installation space and power consumption compared with the conventional isolated solution. In terms of the intelligent manufacturing, in line with the development trend of Industry 4.0,
Polystar is capable of integrate smart POC control system and user-friendly HMI in each type of the machines. The functionality is includes the crowd IP-based remote control for online troubleshooting and operation parameter optimization, in-time abnormal warning notification, and big data collection, analysis, and error correction. We aim to reduce the waste for our customer and keep contributing the equal green value for the industry. If you want to help the plant and your business, and Polystar is the clear choice. Please visit Polystar website, YouTube, LinkedIn, Facebook, or contact us directly. We are happy to service for you. Thank you for listening. Thank you, Mr. Lowe, for your brilliant presentation. And ladies and gentlemen, before we move on to the Q&A session, I'd like to introduce another important event on plastics and rubber industry this year, Taipei Plast, from September 28th to October 2nd. Taipei Plast is Taiwan's largest and the one and only plastics and rubber industry international trade show. At each Taipei Plast, nearly 500 exhibitors showcase their latest products, technologies, and innovations with more than 2,000 visitors. This year, Taipei Plus will focus on new materials, sustainable solutions, multiple applications, challenges, and opportunities in the post-pandemic world. It's going to be an online-offline hybrid exhibition that integrates physical, virtual display in a lineup of events on trendy topics. For more exciting news, please stay tuned with us by scanning the QR code on the screen. We look forward to seeing you at Taipei Plus 2021. And now let's move on to the final session, Q&A. If you have any questions, please use the link and QR code on the screen to submit your question. And now we would like to invite Executive Director of Taitra Strategic Marketing Department, Mr. Mark Wu, to host the Q&A session. Please welcome Mr. Wu. Ladies and gentlemen, good day. Thank you for joining today's webinar. In this uh, QA session, six speakers are invited to answer the questions that we have received online. Due to time constraints, we will mainly focus on the most relevant questions. Now I will first read out the questions and then invite the appropriate speaker to reply. The first question is, from your perspective, what is the trend of the rubber and plastic industry? What kind of solutions can Taiwan provide for this trend? Mr. Boucher, the vice chairman of TAMI, how would, like, how would you like to respond? The environmental issue is the top focus. Bring green concepts in innovation and manufacturing has become the trend. Taiwan's rubber and the plastic machinery industry can provide solution for this demand, such as using recycled plastic and reducing plastic using in the uh, manufacturing process. We are committed to achieving sustainable development. For example, we develop eco-friendly material like BioPET, PLA, PP. We hope to use this alternative material for the industry to create a green environment. We also help our customer to build up high efficiency, high energy saving and low pollution, uh, low pollution product. As one of the uh, members in the circular economy, Taiwan indeed plays an important role in the global market. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Shea. The next question is, how do the environmental issues affect your business? Is there any increasing demand for your products? Mr. Tony Yu of Chun Power, how would you like to respond? 
Okay, well, it affects us uh, in two ways. Uh, it forces us to be more energy efficient, and it also drives the uh, circular economy. So for the energy efficiency size, we reduce preform weight, and we use um, energy efficient ovens and adopt uh, air recovery systems so the uh, total CO2 footprints can be reduced. As for the circular economy, it has, to, it has more of impact on the raw material side. Uh, since our machines can process preforms made from our PET and biodegradable materials, as long as the uh, resin quality is consistent, uh, it will have no problem being processed on our machines. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Wu. Next, uh, Mr. Maxim from Penza Company Limited has a question for Alan Peck. The question is, how do you help your clients if they need the local services for machine repair and problem solving? Ms. Selina Lin, how would you like to respond? Regarding these questions, I have three ways as a reply. The first, we are on process of building our own distribution and a representative locally for any urgent demand in case my customer need. Second, for those countries without distributions, we can use the video conference call for quick reply, for especially for your uh, consult or the problem solving. Third, we can remote desktop connection for the PLC system in case they found any problems or difficulties while using our machine. Thank you. Thank you for the reply, Ms. Lin. Now I would like to invite Mr. Hank Wu from FCS to answer the next question. The question is, will you market in green injection molding machines in the future? Mr. Wu, how would you like to respond? Yes, in addition to our FA series, which is thermal hydraulic machine, we have a fully electric machine, CTE. This will be more energy saving and green to our environment as it doesn't use any hydraulic oil. There will be no more issues on how to handle the oil. Thank you very much, Mr. Wu. The next question is for Polystar. What are the Polystar's development in 2021? What are the next features and solutions that customers can expect during this year? Mr. Debbie Lowe, how would you like to respond? Thank you. As Polystar uh, keep innovative developments for the global customer at 2021. At a recycling machine field, we developed the advanced squeezer, backflush filtration system, EPS, EPE, and PET recycling new solution. We aim to enhance the level of automation and reduce the operation cost for the customer. Regarding to the Brofin machine field, we will have the three layer AVC coal extrusion line for the food packaging film application. Furthermore, by the powerful system integration capability with the corresponding equipment, such as washing line, water cooling circulation system, auto scale devices, crusher, shredder. We look forward to providing the diversified solution and turnkey solution to the global customer and further maintain the long-term cooperation relationship. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much, Mr. Lowe. For the last questions, I would like to invite Mr. David Wu from MultiPlus to reply. The question is, today, sustainable manufacturing has become the trend. Do your products save more energy compared to, to others? Mr. David Wu, how would you like to respond? MultiPlus is a proportion solution for recycled plastic molding, low power consumption machine for energy saving, and the CE standards for health safety, and the environmental protection. Hoping to provide countermeasures for sustainable manufacturing and the support the construction of a smart factory in preparation of industry for 
point leader. Thank you, Mr. Wu. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the end of the QA session. The rest of the questions will be answered online after the event. Now let's have our MC to conclude the webinar. Thank you very much, Mr. Wu, and also thanks to all the speakers. And ladies and gentlemen, the webinar has come to an end. We appreciate your participation, and we also hope that this event will help you get a deeper understanding of the latest plastics and rubber machinery trend developed in Taiwan. Please feel free to scan the QR code and fill up the post-event questionnaire to help us improve our services. In the next few weeks, we will hold more online events, and you are more than welcome to join us again. Please stay healthy with Taiwan Excellence. We hope you have a wonderful day and see you again soon.